supercharged 900 horsepower truck, two-door, track-oriented, automatic sports car with 650 horsepower, also V8 supercharged. Very curious to see what happens, so let's find out. so impressive to see a full-size pickup truck with 900 horsepower compete against a two-door track-oriented sports car muscle car that's so crazy never underestimate a truck in Texas <laughs> stock 2020 GT500 and we're doing some baseline testing on it and while we're out here we're doing some final testing on a GT350 that has been modified with our HPE 850 package. Very cool car but I think it's underpowered from the factory. That's where Hennessy comes in and offers you 850. you don't want to spend the money or you want a manual the GT350 with a supercharger is an amazing choice so we've got a thousand horsepower Jeep versus Chris's Huracan Spider so let's see what happens Huracan pretty well, you know, it's a heavily modified Jeep, all-wheel drive versus the rear-wheel drive. Huracan, if we went further, the Huracan would pass up the Jeep, so this was really just a test uh, from zero to about 130. This thing is bad to the bone. And oh wait, yeah, did you hear that? 1,000 horsepower. So we're headed to the back of our Pennzoil Proving Grounds test track here to uh, give the people what they want. They want to know how much faster a Mammoth 1000 TRX is 
on 37 inch tires in 100 degree heat than a factory one. We're here to find out. this race but I'm gonna give it everything she's got. And everything it's got is just not enough. ultimate battle of absolute luxury. We have a Lamborghini Urus, which is a massive luxury sport SUV. Right next to it, we have the Rolls-Royce Wraith. Unbelievable cars. Uh, and let's go see what happens, man. <laughs> Curious. That's so pimp. spin a little bit off the line so maybe a roll is gonna be better I mean we should have known that it's in the name rolls you did finish the champagne in the back before you finished the Nurburgring is just such a different vehicle from the Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce is all about luxury. This is about combining sport and luxury. <laughs> Velociraptor 700 F250. This thing is fresh off the press. We really just want to see what the gap is and what the difference is in the acceleration and speeds. We'll rev it up equally to like 1500. I'm ready.
crazy. Wow, that is actually crazy. It's like you're standing still. That was wild. Now I want one for my truck. I think that was like two or three bustlings. That is unbelievable. GTB uh, pushing 660 horsepower. Pretty sweet. Well, thanks for bringing it out. We're excited. We're yep. going to race it against our HPE 800 Escalade. And uh, the Escalade is making about 740 horsepower to the rear wheels. We will be launching it in four wheel drive um, and we'll just see what happens. catches back up but either way it's just pretty cool to see that an Escalade can uh, put up a good fight against a 488 Ferrari. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. The GT350 is a naturally aspirated 5.2 liter voodoo motor so uh, this isn't an exact apples to apples comparison. What is a supercharged five liter V8 truck with a lift, off-road wheels and tires gonna perform against a manual, naturally aspirated track focus Mustang? Let's see what happens and find out. a truck in Texas these are one of my favorite cars to drive and then it's like pickup truck it's jacked up and it's got these big brakes and a blower and you know it's it's faster <laughs> McLaren which is ours and I'm next to one of uh, our 1000 Jeep Trackhawks very amazing vehicles but very different when you look at this McLaren it looks like a race car it's a very um, track oriented performance you know exotic vehicle when you look at the Jeep it looks more like a family vehicle um, but the Jeep has a lot of secrets in its sleeve we're gonna do a video today doing a drag race between this McLaren 600 LT versus our 1000 horsepower Jeep Trackhawk uh, let's see what happens I'm really curious to see
our first race. I did not use launch control. I got destroyed. So on this one, I'm going to use launch control and we'll see what the difference is and what the power of launch control on this McLaren really does. I would say uh, and the McLaren 600 LT is super awesome as well so uh, stay tuned for more awesome videos we'll see you soon smash the subscribe button follow us on all platforms like this video let us know what else we should shoot and we'll see you next time